Here we got the little one, four and a half, going on five in April 2021. Pistolita's done really great. She's really soft in the mouth, or I mean, she's soft in her bozal and everything. Now, the only thing we really have been working on is the stopping and the backing up. She's getting a little better when I sit back. She is stopping, but I do feel like I need to pull a lot of pressure and really use my weight to get her to understand we're stopping and I want those snappy stops. So we do a lot of stopping and a lot of backing up. Now, I feel like she has graduated from the Bozal and um, I want to slowly transition her to bridling. We are going to bid her up today for the very first time. So stick with me and I shall show you how we're going to do this and the process and everything of bidding up your young horse. Now again she's going to be five in April. We are December 2020. So yeah you know a few more months she'll be turning five. So I feel like she's growing up and it's a good time to start bidding her up to get her graduated, you know? Start trying new things. Um, the only reason why is because the bit, I feel like we'll have a little more control. Though she is very light with the bozal. Like, I don't have to pull her hard for the turns or anything. Um, you know, and that's just soft turns. We're not doing really, really sharp turns. I have barrel raced her. And she's doing really, really good. But let's go ahead. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Okay, guys. So the choice, um, the bit that I picked out for her to get her started and to transition her from the bozal to the bit is this. We're going to do um, a snaffle full cheek D-ring piece. Okay, the reason why I like to use the full cheeks really compared to the O-rings, um, snaffles, or the D-ring snaffles is because the full cheek, when you use these on your horse and you are asking for that turn or whatever, I mean sometimes you give them pressure and they don't want to really give in. <laughs> Donate. <laughs> This will help prevent from those pieces to get in into their mouth. Now I've seen it because they do open up their mouths really wide. Oh, and you imagine they open that mouth and you're asking for that turn because they're not used to that pressure. Your O-ring or whatever slips, can slip through that horse's mouth. So this is why I like to use a full cheek piece. All right, are you ready, my dear? Now what I do... What I have been doing with her is like um, when I put her bozal on, this is her bozal, is I kind of treat it like I've been bidding her up. So I'll take it off. I'll go like this. Let me lift her head up. I'll put my thumb in the side of the mouth, you know, just so she gets used to opening the mouth. And she does really nicely. <laughs> And so I'm kind of giving her that stimulation that something's going in her mouth. So I've been doing that throughout the years that I've been riding her and getting her started under saddle. And she's very used to it. So she doesn't shake her head. She's not head shy or anything. You can do whatever you want. You could wave your hands. And she's like, I don't care. I could go, ah! she don't care. <laughs> okay, so here we go. All right, girl, I'm going to say, ah, very nicely, opened her mouth very nicely, no problem. This head stall worked out great because it's a one piece also. So she has a one piece here, one ear, and then one ear here. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to look for is, and you see she is playing with it a little bit, she's like, Sorry, I hit stop on my camera. She's like, what the heck is going on? She's trying to put her tongue over the bit. Okay. 
<laughs> so she's gonna be doing a lot of this because she's not used to having anything in her mouth. Now I have it fairly loose. Okay, so I have it fairly loose. I don't, well it's kind of hard to see because she's moving her mouth. She's almost got one wrinkle, but not really. So we're just gonna leave it right there for now, just so she gets used to it. Now, let's go ahead and ride and see how she behaves, if she's distracted or if she's gonna listen. I don't have any of the reins attached. Again, this is our first time bridling Pistolita up. Four and a half year old mare. And I just have the bozal on and I just put the bit, full cheek snaffle bit on. Okay, girl. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's ride. What a good girl. You're just following mama, huh? Look, mom, I have no hands on the horse. All right, yes, I do have Camo in the arena with us. I want him to kind of get some exercise today because he hasn't been really getting much exercise because we don't ride at home. It's okay, bud. <laughs> so I don't mind it. If he's going to do laps and circles, it's fine. To do that flexing. Always flex them when you ride. Come on, don't be lazy. There you go, good girl. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if I like this thing in my mouth. I don't think I like it. being a little tough right now. She's not really giving in. That's cheating. That's cheating, whatever you're doing right there. There you go. Good girl. There you go. Good girl.
Job. I think she's starting to settle in. Her mouth is a little more quiet. Oh. All right, I'm going to continue to ride her and just, you know, we're going to go slowly. I'm not going to do a lot of running because my arena is a little slick. Sadly, winter is here. Well, almost here. But anyways, for y'all who haven't bit up your horse, your young horse yet, or even an older horse, take your time. Definitely, um, you know, get the basics down with them first. When you ride them with the Bozal or um, Hackamore, whatever you guys are using, take your time. Transition them. Put that bit in just like I did with her, and that way your horse will be a little more comfortable. They won't get mouth sour right away. And um, there are ways to prevent mouth sour too. By changing their bits, getting them something different. I use uh, two to three different bits depending what I'm doing. And um, sometimes I go a little easier on their mouth. And I use a lighter bit. Or when I'm going to do heavy work, like a lot of barrel practicing and stuff, I'll move into a more a bit that has a little more bite like the million dollar bit i love that one i use that on my older horse milagros and you know it's it's good to change it around the horse does get bored if you're wondering why they're tossing their head or why they're not stopping anymore it's because they're getting used to the tool that you're using so change it up a bit all right let me know if you have any questions comment down below as you know me i'm always happy to help and if you have any concerns or whatever or if you just want to say hi do leave a comment and say hey all right we'll see you soon let's ride we're on an autopilot right now as you can see no hands on the rain camo's just going with the flow let's see where she takes us mm -hmm. taking us to a corner because she's like hey oh ah! Bop, 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 bop. Not over that fence, my dear. You may get that bit caught in. Okay, no more autopilot. <laughs> Camo might not be a dog hunt, a hunter, but he sure is a bug killer. <laughs> Did you get it? Good boy. Oh. Oh, he got it. He got it. Not my priority. I would rather go to different areas for rodeos. There's one coming up in five years. It's 